Hello, I'm Emily. And I'm Joe. This is First Person Science, and today you're going to learn something. We're just going to be talking about some little fun facts about the human body, as well as the human brain, which is a part of the human body. I didn't know that. Yeah, little known fact. The brain is inside of the body. Damn it. (laughs) (laughs) Is that disappointing? No. (laughs) Do you do not want the brain in the body? No, I didn't realize how uneducated I was. (laughs) (laughs) And that's what this show is for, to educate you. All right, so I basically just have a bunch of facts about the body and the brain. Cool. That are just like really weird things that you would never consider unless you think about the human body a lot. No, I don't. I okay. try All to right. avoid thinking about my body. Me too. I try to ignore it. I just sort of float around. Yeah. <laughs> so, out of all of the organs in the body, the skin is the largest. It weighs six pounds on average, and it covers 18 square feet. Wait, the skin's an organ? Yes. I didn't even know that. that. Yeah, <laughs> and it's the biggest one. And apparently there are a lot of people who think that you can breathe through your skin. Which just isn't true. Or anything resembling true. That that colloquialism where I need to let my skin breathe? Yeah, yeah. And it's like if you're letting your skin breathe, you're doing something wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And because the skin is like constantly changing, because skin cells die and skin cells regenerate... In the average lifetime, a person will have over 900 complete skins. That's a lot of skins. I'm just thinking about all the dust. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's so disturbing. Yeah, it's great. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Now, the heart is a pretty interesting organ because it's, like, way stronger than all the other ones. It pumps five liters of blood every minute. And in the average lifetime, it will pump enough blood to fill a football stadium. And that's freedom football, not uh, European football. (laughs) Yeah, it's the best kind of football. (laughs) Okay. And the human liver is pretty cool because it has the capacity to grow back almost completely, which is great because it performs over 500 functions in the human body, which include glucose storage, bile creation, blood detoxification, antibody production, and hormone recycling, all of which are really fun things that I'm going to pretend that I know anything about. (laughs) And the most important of which is alcohol. What's that? I've never heard of that. I'm not familiar (laughs) with the concept. There's this thing called alcohol. Really? And apparently, if you drink lots of it, your Mm -hmm. liver doesn't like it. That sounds crazy. I know, right? Who doesn't like alcohol? Stupid liver. (laughs) What is it now? (laughs) Here's a fun fact. So human babies have 60 more bones than human adults. Is that all in the skull or is it? I have no idea. (laughs) (laughs) They're just there. Because that's the soft spot, isn't it? It, The bones haven't fused together so they can squeeze through the birth canal. Yeah. Babies are so weak. Yeah. Like, grow up. Yeah, they can't even walk when they're... they're I know, like, get it together. Please. (laughs) A giraffe will fall, like, six feet and then start walking. (laughs) Human babies are useless. Yeah, I know. Just, like, too many bones, not enough skills. Like, what are they doing? So all the blood vessels in the human body, if they were late end to end, would span 100,000 miles. Uh, Wow. And all the DNA, 10 billion, 10 billion miles. (laughs) That's a lot of miles. That's all the way to Pluto and back. If Pluto still existed. Well, Pluto still exists. It's just not a planet anymore. No, it doesn't exist. (laughs) Okay. Sorry. They got rid of it. They canceled Pluto. (laughs) I'm a scientist. I should know these things. Oh, yes, yes. And there are more bacteria in your mouth than there are people in the world. Uh, uh. At least it's not the other way around. True. 
people in the mouth, bacteria in the world. You know, that'd be weird. Yeah, I don't want that many people in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sneezes, as a function, they can generate winds of up to... Here, I put this in um, freedom units, so I'm sorry. <laughs> 100 miles an hour. Is it right? Coughs. We use miles here. Really? Yeah. That's that's new. No, it's not new. We're crazy. We just use a mix of metric and non. -metric. Do you guys have hours? Yes. That's great. I know. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. <laughs> and coughs come out at 60 miles an hour. That's impressive. Yeah, I never really thought about that. It's crazy. So the brain. The brain is fun because it's the fattiest organ in the body. Uh, it's It only weighs about three pounds, but 60% of that is just straight up fat. So that means everyone is a fatty? Absolutely. Ugh. At our core, the thing that controls all of us is just fat. And that's incredible. I mean, I wish the rest of the fat on your body did the same kind of work, because that'd be awesome. <laughs> I would have such a powerful body. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe that's the secret. Maybe like people who are trying to reduce body fat should be going the other way. <laughs> like it's like, man, I'm trying to get down to like twenty percent body fat, you should be going for sixty. Obesity is actually a good thing. It makes you more intelligent. Obesity <laughs> is the key to success. That you heard it here first. That's it. Science fact. Um Absolutely, absolutely, 100% <laughs> confirmed. Yeah, just incredible. So, you know that myth that um, we only use 10% of our brains? Yeah. It's 100% false. It is? Yep. Mm -hmm. We use most of our brain most of the time, including when we are sleeping. I don't know where that 10% myth came from, but it's just not true at all. Scott Pilgrim lied to me. I know, I know. It's, uh, it's, it's tragic when your heroes let you down. I thought vegan powers were a thing. <laughs> well, vegan powers are real, but, you know, it's, it's a different situation. Wait it has nothing to do with... What? What is the vegan power? Is it the power to preach about being a vegan to everyone? Maybe. <laughs> I can't... See, I can't talk negatively about vegans because one of my best friends in the world is a vegan. And if she watches this, nah. she might die. <laughs> Sorry in advance, Claire, if you're watching. But that's about all I got. Okay, then that's it for another episode of First Person Science. Tell us what you think in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.